If an individual was plant-based, they would require closer to 1.6 grams per kg, a higher amount of total protein if it's coming from plants. And that, that becomes important to understand. Speaking of an ideal world, if you had a magic wand, uh, I what, do. <laughs> what would be the... Um, My kids think I do. Um, I bet you do. Um, what would be the amount of protein that you would have everybody eat? In terms of a number of grams per pound or kilogram of body One, weight. That's actually uh, an easy question. One gram per pound, ideal body weight. Total body weight, not lean Ideal body, body weight. weight, actually. Where mm. you want to be. If an individual is 200 pounds but, but would prefer to be 150 pounds, then I would have them eat towards their ideal body weight. There's no evidence that a higher protein diet is detrimental to kidney health, to bone health. And we use these terms loosely, like a high protein diet, when we have to recognize that 0.8 grams per kg is a low protein diet. So where did the idea come from that if you eat, say, one gram of quality protein per pound of ideal body weight, that you're going to get gout, you're going to have liver issues, you're going to have all sorts of issues?